Mrs. McCready? I'm afraid so. You will listen to your brother, won't you, Edmund? No improper use of the dumb waiter. No! Touching of the historical artifacts. The sheet's no scratchy. Wars don't last forever, Lucy. We'll be home soon. Ah, uh, uh, not that. That is my father. He has a nice face. He looks a lot like you. Come on, Peter, please! Gastrovascular. Come on, Peter. <clears throat> No! Poised to take yet another wicket! Ow! Whoops! Yes, I'm a mouse. Yeah. Fish and chips. <laughs> but there is hope, dear. Lots of hope. Oh, yeah. A minute. We don't have a minute. I'm just trying to be realistic. No, you're trying to be smart. As usual. If it's a war Aslan wants, <laughs> it's a war he shall get. Is our little prince uncomfortable? Does he want his beautiful flower? Special treatment for the special boy. Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> you go to St. Finbar's? That's right. I go to Hendon House, across the road. I've seen you sitting by yourself. Yes, well, I prefer to be left alone. Me too. What's your name? Phyllis. Susan! You'd better come quickly. You're the kings and queens of old. High King Peter, the Magnificent. You probably could have left off the last bit. <laughs> probably. <laughs> See, over time water erodes the earth's soil. I've been deep into Oh, shut up. Is there a way down? Yeah, fallen. Well, at least we know some of you can handle a blade. Yes, indeed. And I have recently put it to good use, securing weapons for your army, sire. Good. Because we're going to need every sword we can get. Well, then. You will probably be wanting yours back. How does it look to you? Young. But his majesty is doing extremely well for his age. Oh. 